Alright, so hey guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So as promised, I've made another tutorial to show you guys how to attach multiple files to an email. So in the previous tutorial, I showed you guys how to create a simple Jira application in which you guys could attach um, one file and then you could also send some body, text and some subject. So that was it for the previous tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to kind of finish up this um, series that we have going on here and then we're going to show you how to pretty much attach files to your emails but this time multiple files also bear in mind if you haven't watched the previous tutorials i recommend you do because this is like a continuation for the previous videos so i recommend you watch those unless you just want the bit where you can attach multiple files um anyway the dis uh, the description is going to have the links to the previous videos and the code that we're going to be using in this video so without further ado let's begin First off, I'm going to create a test.py to kind of explain what we're going to be using today to allow multiple attachments to be attached in our email. So first off, as you remember from the last tutorial, we had an attachments array, which included the file names for all the attachments that we had, including the directories. So we're going to do a dummy attachments array here, and we're going to populate it by ourselves. I'm going to call it file name one comma file name two comma file name three. Right. So in the realistic scenario in the other program, whenever the user selects a file, it gets put inside this attachments array, where the file name and the directory is stored. But for now, since we're just, um, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use a for loop. Um, I don't need to do that. So I'm just creating a dummy one for now. So this is just for like proper beginners to make sure that they're in the loop with what we're doing and understand how for loops work. So, um, what we had going before was we had a new variable called file name and we had assigned that to attachments zero. So what happens when I print this out is no matter what happens, as many files as there are in here, it's always going to attach the zeroth file because we're telling it to attach the zeroth file. So that's like the first file in here because obviously in arrays we start from zero. So we don't want that. We want to be able to read all the files in the array. Now you might say how to do how how are we going to do that? So that's what we're going to be needing the for loop for. Let me run this quickly to show you what I mean. So as of now, we're just printing out the first or zeroth value of this array. So to select all the files and attach them, we're going to need a for loop. So to do so, we're going to have to type in for file name in attachments print file name so what this is doing is very plainly and simply this loop is going to go over all the items in this array from 0 to uh, as many items there are in this array and for each item it's going to assign this variable called file name equals to the value of the item so in the first iteration file name is going to be file name 1 second iteration file name is going to be file name 2 third iteration file name is going to be file name 3 until and un until it reaches like the end of the array and then for each one of these items we're printing the file name so pretty much it's going to print the entire array for us one by one so file name 1, file name 2, file name 3 the only difference um, in our implementation is that we're not going to be printing out the file name but instead we're going to be attaching the file name in our email so since I've explained the basic concept of how this is going to work, let's go ahead and open the file that we had in the previous tutorial. So I'm going to delete this test.py because we don't need it anymore. And let's go to our previous code. So we have this attachments array here as we, um, as I showed you in the test.py. And this is where all the files are stored that are going to be attached to our email. Now, this is why I recommended watching the previous tutorial, because otherwise it might not make complete sense based on the logic I'm going with, but it's totally up to you. I'm going to link the two tutorials um, that includes the complete making of this GUI application in the description. So if you guys want it, I recommend you guys to go and watch them. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin coding this one then. So at the moment, what we have going is file name equals attachment zero. And as I said, we don't want that to be like that. So we're going to get rid of that and include our loop in here. So we're going to do for file name in uh, file name in attachments. Um, what we want to do is run this entire loop. And since the nature of this variable, we're already using file name everywhere. 
it should just work automatically we do not need to do anything else unless we have any errors so i'm going to go ahead and select everything that is going to be in the loop um, and that should end right over here so it should include the sending of the jpeg and the sending of the document which is what's going to be in the loop everything else should be outside the loop so that's why indentations are kind of crazy when it comes to python but hey it uh, helps us manage kind of beautiful code and all that so i'm going to run this and then i'm going to type in my email Oops. Also guys, do let me know what you think about the new series, are you guys enjoying it? If you have any other recommendations, make sure to let me know about these things so that I can actually upload what you guys want me to upload. Um, because I'm trying to come back to YouTube now um, and upload as much as I can. So it would be great to get some suggestions from you guys. Um, so subject, I'm going to go with um, has multiple um, attachments. And what he's going to be, dear Charlie, please find the attached files in this email. Right, I'm going to do an attachment, uh, go to the desktop. I'm going to click on website.jpg first, which is going to be the first attachment, which is an image. As you see right here, we get notified that we have attached one file. I'm going to go ahead and attach another file. Which, uh, which is going to be a document session plans and just for the sake of this tutorial let's go ahead and go all out and attach another file so let's see let me try and find another document if I have any okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put my CV in there so I'm just going to my CV there we go Right, cool. So we've attached three files. Let's click on this send button and place your bets, guys, in the comment section. Is it going to work? Are we going to have any errors? So, moment of truth, send. Okay, look like it's working. Perfect. Email has been sent successfully. So it seems like we have been able to send the email successfully. Let's close this off. Close this off as well. Now let's minimize this and let's go to Chrome and log into my email. Let's see if I've actually got this email. Okay, nothing seems to be here. Let me see. Oh. Right, the email isn't here yet. Not sure why. Right, let's try that again. Since that time it didn't work, not sure why it should should have just given me an error. So um, actionmail.com Okay, I'm just gonna send a plain text email to see if that works. Let's go plain text email. Some text sent. Email has been sent apparently. And we have a plain text email. Perfect. Now let's try and attach one file, attachments, uh, desktop, website.jpg, and send. Oh, email has been sent apparently. Let's go take a look. Okay, we do have an email. Now let's attach more to this. So attachments, desktop, session plans, .xlsx, yeah. And then another attachment, I'm going to go to desktop. Uh, let's try and... I'm just going to attach this random SQL file that I have, so... Let's see if that works. Send. I might have done something wrong while attaching it in the last tutorial, uh, I mean in the last few tries, so... Maybe that's the issue. I'm going to go ahead and swap my window to check if that worked. And here we are. I surely have messed up something in the last time that I tried to do this. I probably didn't enter something correctly or just or just the application probably bugged out because it happens with SNTP lib. Anyway, the tutorial is a success which is the most important thing. We have an image of a bear which was the picture I had. We have a spreadsheet right here that's opening up perfectly and we have an SQL file as well. So that 
brings an end to our sending an email using a Python GUI app. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series and have learned a lot from it. If you guys would like um, any other videos in the future, please do let me know by the end of tomorrow before 7 because this video is going to premiere at around 7 tomorrow. Obviously I'm saying it now but by then, by the time you guys are watching it's already premiered but please do um, drop some suggestions in the community tab or in the live chat section um, where it's premiered or just the comments really. I'll take a look at the um, your requests and then start making the video straight away. You guys can also email me on my business email if you guys need any help with your code. As always, I'm going to attach this code in the description so that you guys can um, do what you want with it and experiment around really. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment and share because sharing is really important in the moment. And I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace out.